What's up guys, I'm at SHOT Show in the LE section. This caught my eye. Pat here is gonna kinda of tell you all about them. What's going on? Hi, this is the Gentex OpsCore Active Shooter Kit. The Active Shooter Kit takes our ballistic helmet, protects against nine millimeter round fragmentation level protection. So really a military level, NIJ level of protection in the ballistic helmet. And then because we mission configure our helmets by adding rails on the side, shroud mount on the front, you can add components because of the mission. In the active shooter kit, we provide an officer just not just the helmet, but also a face shield that protects their face against 9mm and 44 mag threats. That's and nice. And not only one, but multiple hits. So here's an actual face shield with two hits from a 9mm. You can see very little impact. And then here's a face shield with two hits from a 44 mag. That's impressive. Two hits from a 44 magnum. That's wild. So you can order your active shooter kit in a standard sort of tactical flat black. You can order it either mission configured, mission configured, I'm sorry, like this helmet is with shrouds or plain like this helmet, or in fact in a law enforcement standard paint pattern. Very we cool. provide the kit with the handgun face shield, the helmet, in a helmet bag for the officer. Okay. Now, uh, I had a question. Uh, what about the cops that already have their, their Kevlar helmets issued? Can they mount this to those existing helmets, or do you have to have yours? As long as the, as long as the helmet is mission configured, they can mount it to their existing helmet. Okay, and so by mission configured, the way we mean that is you need to have the OpsCore rails. Okay, so OpsCore rails for sure. Now, you can also purchase an upgrade kit for the TVA, the ACH-shaped helmet. And the upgrade kit consists of the rails, the shroud, and the Velcro. So you can actually mission configure your helmet by adding rails. And then you can not only add this kind of setup with the, the handgun face shield, you could also add our 17 grain fragmentation protection visor as well as mandible type protection. So what, what level is the mandible protection? This has been tested against a 9 mil and 17 grain fragmentation press. That is wild. So, now, um, I, I hate to ask a kind of a stupid question, but are you eventually going to have this mounted onto this? Well, this will this will mount on this. Oh, it will? It oh, will, okay. But it won't integrate with the mandible. You can oh. see the shape. This provides much more face protection against that multi-hit. Gotcha. So the way this is shaped is to be multi-hit shape, 9 mil frag for most of your face. Yeah. This is meant to be really protection against 17 grain, 9 millimeter 17 grain, and more of a tactical continuing fight gotcha. type scenario. Gotcha. So we look at this, if you're in an entry operation, you're a, you're a law enforcement officer, when you have an unknown situation, active shooter, you want to have this kind of protection for that instance. Yeah. And if you're out in the field in consistent, sustained operations where, you know, IEDs, other fragmentation threats, this is ideal for that situation, particularly let's say if you're a turret gunner up in, in exposed to enemy fire as well as IED fragmentation. Yeah, th this is nice too for the guys that run shields without the window. Correct. Yeah, very nice. Correct. Exactly. But the All point right. is, allow the individual to mission configure their helmet so they can make a choice on what they want to do in terms of protection, mission awareness, and everything else. So how much so, is the active shooter kit going for? The uh, MSRP on our active shooter kit, that's the multi-hit handgun face shield, the ballistic helmet put into a uh, helmet bag so that you can carry it around with you, retails around $1,300. And since I have you, it look, looks like you have, you have a whole bunch of other products as well. Can we talk about those as well? Sure. Yeah. All right, so what do we have on this table? Well, Gentex, Gentex is actually more than just helmets. Gentex has the Opscore brand, so we do the mission-configured helmets, which are the high-end, uh, special operations-oriented, special weapons teams-oriented helmets. We also produce specialty helmets so that these are not ballistic protection, but they provide a level of bump protection for the head and allow you to mount things like GoPro cameras, Again, that same idea of mission configuration. So you can buy a carbon helmet. So it's a carbon skin helmet. It doesn't provide ballistic protection, but it's a bump provides helmet. trauma protection for your head, concussion type protection. And then you have the capability to put on cameras, lights. You could, in fact, mount the visor on there if you wanted to. Search and like rescue that. guys will probably love this, yeah. And that's really the intent of this. And in fact, we have a prototype search and rescue carbon helmet. This is essentially a carbon helmet frame. So you have a carbon helmet frame, and now what you're added to the carbon helmet frame is a mandible protector. 
so you can protect your face against impact, brush if you're out in the woods, so on and so forth. Falling rocks, all Spray kinds of stuff. if you're in yeah. a boat, flying rocks, etc. And the way you do that is you actually add pieces of side armor. This is carbon added onto the side. And now you have a mandible protector that you can add on top of that. And if you're in a search and rescue scenario, now you've got the visibility, reflective helmet, so on and so forth. Mission configured so you can add pieces like flashlights, so on and so forth to your helmet. Night vision device on the front and still maintain a nice protective posture because you're out in unknown terrain. Yeah. You know, you don't know what you're going to run into and it protects your face and your head. Nice. Very nice. And I'm just curious though, how much does something like this, these uh, bump helmets go for? Ballpark price. The ballpark on a plastic bump right now on a retail basis, let's say three, 350. Carbon helmet's gonna run around 450. Okay. 400, 450 retail awesome. in that range. And then this is, is this even available now or is it no, still prototype? This is a prototype right now. We're okay. trying to see if people, there's an interest, if we can go ahead and move this forward as a product line. And based on this week, everybody seems interested. There's a lot of interest. The logic makes sense. So I think you'll see this as a product offering here shortly. Very cool. Awesome. So those come in a carbon type frame. We also have a plastic, essentially a very inexpensive frame where, again, you can do the mission configuration piece, have the rails, have the shroud mount in the front. And then really for recreational use or for parachute jumping, something where you're not in a high threat environment or a ballistic threat environment, but you need protection for your head, you go ahead and wear this plastic bump helmet with the mission configuration. Nice. And then folks who are on patrol buy into our skull mounting system. So if you're on a light recon, you're on a patrol, you don't necessarily want all of this on your head in terms of weight, but you do want something that you can put night vision goggles on and now you have night vision capability without the helmet oh, or skull okay. mounting system. You put that on, you adjust it, and it gives you a very stable platform to put your night vision mount, your night vision goggles. Communication-wise, with those mission configured rails and so on, we, we have what we call our RAC, R-A-C, and it's a communication system that you're now rail mounting onto your helmet so that you can have communications on the helmet itself rather than trying to fit a headband on your head and then put the helmet on top of it. Now it's a rail mounted system for communications and in fact this is flexible enough to where if you're not using it you can stow the communications back here when you need it you put it over on your head snap it and it presses up against your ears gives you a good seal additionally this technology is a 360 degree awareness technology so these sound vents that you see here are specifically oriented the same direction as your ears and the circuit boards in here allow you to hear like our conversation right now between us but if there's a high decibel noise event it will filter it out so it saves your hearing so you can maintain situational awareness while wearing your communications gear. The angle of these vents and so on allows you not only to hear what's going on around you, but you maintain that same capability to understand where the noise is coming from. That's important. Awesome. So that's the rack. All right. So if guys have any questions, what's your website? Website, go to opscore.com. So just do O-P-S-C-O-R-E dot com. And then uh, you'll see everything on that website that I've just shown you here. Awesome. Thank you.